Some people are wanting to know really how does it work? So I'm gonna show you. Good morning, chiddlers. Hey, you combed your hair this morning. How nice. You're welcome. And you are getting into the silverware. Getting some strawberries for breakfast. Hey buddy. You wanna go down the slide? It's very crazy, okay? <laughs> Yeah, that's not so easy. Awesome. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Time to do afternoon chores. I'm in the feed room. Look, guys, my mouse traps, they're not engaged. And none of them are engaged except this one, and we didn't get the guy. And the mice are starting to get my corn. So we're gonna have to go to different measures here, I think. I don't have time before I go. I'm getting ready to go to Permaculture Voices. I'm a speaker there all the way in California. So I don't have time to mess with that. I only got a couple days to get ready. But when I get back, I'm probably gonna have to put these pallets up on a metal up on metal saw horses so the mice can't get to them. Unfortunately, I was hoping they get these. Golly, how many traps do I got out here? I was thinking that'd be an easy way to catch us some food for the dinos, but it hasn't worked out that way. Hey, what are you doing? You giving them some feed? That's nice of you. Yeah, they love it. Hey, look. This is the price I pay for not turning my fits on back at night. A possum or raccoon or something has gnawed through this. I've got my patch repair, which is just replacement rope. I'm gonna tie that on there. There we go. I've tied that back together with some of the some of the extra electric wire string. You guys are double safe now. I didn't worry too much about it because if they get through, they still gotta get through the chick shaw and it in itself is predator proof. See the key to making this chick shaw predator proof or any coop for that matter is no more than one inch opening. Okay guys? So this ramp is the door. And then this is a half inch wire mesh in the front, but in the bottom, the, the floor, it's a one inch wire mesh and no predator I'm worried about can get through that, okay guys? I got more than an inch in these uh, egg collection baskets, these used milk carts, okay guys? But, ain't nothing gonna be crawling up this slippery slope to get to it. Oh, tea bag, where are you? There you are. There you are, my friend. How are you doing? You getting in? You get, you belonging? <laughs> that one scares you? That hen scares you? Why are you chasing my feet? <laughs> Why are you after my feet? What gives? Checking on the waterer. It's doing great. The dirt is accumulating on the bottom just like it would out in nature in a creek. The clean water is staying on top. That it's 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 taking some of the dirt out. This is awesome. But uh, we're gonna try. You can, I'm gonna clean it out too. I'm just gonna dump it out here, and we'll see that it fills up by itself. Yesterday it took a little coaxing to get it to go down the drop line, but I think we got the right amount of speed, and so we'll just test it. Let's just dump it out and see if it refills and drains on its own. I dumped it out and it attracted the ducks over here to the mud puddle. You like that, guys? So just letting it freshen up. Okay guys, after the gravity fed Everflow fountain I showcased yesterday in yesterday's vlog, some people are wanting to know really how does it work? So I'm gonna show you. Okay, so first of all, let's get up here at the pond. We are probably 500 feet above the Everflow fountain down at the chicken. See this pond? I'd say it's at least 50 feet across. It's six feet deep in the middle. Essentially, I have the line tied Right here, hey Mr. Brown, you getting in there? You're a little bit of a crazy hair there. We got the beautiful one with us up here. And try, you know what, all we do as parents is save your life all the time. We're just keeping you alive and we're good parents. You see your reflection? Yeah, okay. So we've got our line here. 
and I've tied I've tied up the opening here to this post just so it doesn't fall down to the bottom and get stopped up okay I should probably put a filter on the end of it so it doesn't get stopped up with any big leaves or anything there's plenty of flow let me show you the flow okay there's a lot of flow here guys going down through that pipe I'm probably not even using I don't know a twentieth of it man it's crazy I don't know if you can see that back <laughs> don't scare me like that she's scaring me you, you think that's funny uh, I do <laughs> you do you think it's funny so there's the line guys let's walk it down together okay mr. Brown walking the line with us now we the line goes under the culvert remember thing one and thing two going under the culvert for us yesterday coming out of the culvert down here by the outdoor dining area Okay, the line comes around the house and down here to the dinos. Okay, down into the water. Let's see if me dumping their water and if it was able to fill up all by itself and drain all by itself. And it sure was. And you guys are really enjoying this. Look, and this is always cold, never frozen, always clean, because we just mimic nature. It's ever flowing. What do you think, teabag? You like it? Take a drink for us. Come on. People want to make sure you're all right. Would you take a drink? No. Okay, so to get water flowing from the pond, you can't just stick the hose in and expect it to come through. You got to siphon it. And the easiest way to do that, I'll, I'll leave a link in the notes of a article. You fill the water hose up. So I shut it off right here. And I hook the other end, the open end to, to the hose. You guys remember me doing that? And I filled it up with water. And then I took the open end up to the pond. And then I came here and opened this faucet and there was enough water in the line to start pulling through with gravity. And of course it pulled it through and started suctioning, siphoning the water out of the pond. Now it's not draining the pond. I made sure that I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm pulling very little compared to how much is going in there. That would be bad if I was draining the pond, okay? This hose here is our drainage hose. And it goes on down, and this hose goes on down into the creek. That's where the water's going anyway, so I'm just returning it where it's going. Okay guys, and here I am at the end of the hose. It coming out guys, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see that draining a little bit. Oh, beauty and the pitchfork. Thanks. Give me a relief today. Well, I'm not gonna do them all. <laughs> You're not? No, I'm just gonna do a couple. You gotta finish what you started. You're funny. What are you doing in here collecting eggs? Well, so that Nick, <laughs> Nick laid a clutch. Nick the bull. <laughs> Nick the bull laying a clutch. Good for him. How many is that? Eleven. I'm going to get the other eggs too. Look at that beautiful basket of eggs. Oh, you got me some goodies for my trip to California, Permaculture Good. Voices. I got you some beef jerky. Nice. Some justice. Oh, you got me a treat. Because you'll be missing us. You got me a treat from my own company. Dried mango. Yes. Ah! Kit's bars. Yes. Thank you. Ah. She's taking care you wanna of You want to eat? Look what came in the mail today. The Bear Brones Broth Cookbook. Man, I'm excited about this. 125 recipes. Just this chicken leg on the front. That's so good for you to put in a broth. And Lord knows we don't use our broths enough. We got, we've got a beef, beef bones that have been in there for what, a year and a half? So we got to use a lot of beef bones. There's pork broths. There's, of course, chicken broths. But we're just doing the basic. But I'd like to expand, uh, boost my health, cut the food bill. Hopefully as I do some of these, I'll include them in the vlogs in the future. Hey, buddy. What's going on? What do you see over there? You're nursed, you ready for bed? I see you in your pajamas. Okay, good night. Teabag, our new rooster, hasn't been getting in at night. So I'm gonna go out there, I'm trying to train him to go in. I'm gonna have to go out there, catch him and put him in, and hopefully he'll get the gist. I wanna go out here right now, and maybe he's in, and maybe he's figured it out, and maybe not, let's go see. Good news, guys. Teabag is inside. He's usually out here wandering around here. So he has been trained to go in. Just had to put him in a few nights and he's gotten the point. 